Let's talk the new Star Wars wave dropping on May the 1st. Hit that thumbs up button if you're just as excited as me to start building these sets. Before I start, thanks so much to the LEGO group for sending these LEGO sets over to me as part of the LEGO Ambassador program. First up, the Bark Speeder Escape LEGO set 75378. It's going to retail for $29.99 and it's 221 pieces. Was anybody else wondering what Bark stands for? Because it stands for Biker Advance Recon Commandos. So now we all know. The last time we saw a Bark Speeder was in the 2013 set Bark Speeder with Sidecar 75012, which came with four minifigures. Those were two commando droids, a Captain Rex, and an Obi-Wan. But with those weird little like enlarged face prints that they used for the Clone Wars minifigures for some reason. This new Bark Speeder Escape set includes four minifigures. Looks like we have Grogu, of course, and you can put him in a pram, which gets mounted on the sidecar. Kelleran Beck, who is shown wielding two lightsabers, a green and a blue one, and two 501st troopers. There are helmet holes. Front of the box also shows the backdrop of Coruscant. Of course, here's the speeder with the sidecar. There is a very large sticker on the front of the sidecar that Grogu is in. The back side of the speeder also looks like there's a bunch of stickers back here. There's two stud shooters here in the front. This set also includes what looks like a little lamp that's outside of the Jedi Temple. Pretty cool for a scene setup. Which brings me to the back side of the box, which shows the speeder bike parked with the lamp post in the background. We're shown the two stud shooters again on the front side in this little image. And we're also shown on this bottom panel how Grogu's pram can be mounted onto the sidecar. Cute little set here that honestly to me appears to be worth its value so far with four minifigures and 221 pieces. Of note here, this Lego set does not include any of the 25th anniversary of Lego Star Wars branding or lettering or that blue chrome sort of brick line at the bottom. So just a regular old Lego Star Wars set that I guess doesn't get the 25th Lego Star Wars anniversary treatment. Next up, we have Darth Maul's Sith Infiltrator, set 75383. Front of the box here does show that 25th LEGO Star Wars branding and packaging with the logo down here, as well as the bluish chrome throughout. This set will include a bonus minifigure for the 25th LEGO Star Wars anniversary of Saw Gerrera. And like, no offense to Saw Gerrera, but like, did anybody ask for this? I know these bonus minifigures are supposed to be just that, a bonus minifigure, maybe something that wouldn't be normally made or hasn't been made before. But man, I was just hoping for a much cooler or maybe beloved character than Saw Gerrera. So we'll see what the rest of the year has to offer. His outfit is modeled after Rogue One, it seems like, showing all of that tubing in the front of his outfit with some really detailed awesome printing. At first I thought his arm looks really chunky, but I think that's actually the backside of a cape. He has like printed shoulder pads as well. A green handle that's holding onto the walking stick, so showing his mechanical arm as well. I'm very interested to see this minifigure out of box because it looks like the printing is going to be gorgeous. There's even detail on his bottom foot because he has a mechanical leg as well. Honestly, a lot of Saw Gerrera is mechanical at this point in his life. Really gorgeous minifigure, but Again, I just really want to know who wanted this. Maybe it's just me. Maybe there's going to be a really high demand for this bonus minifigure. Now for the actual minifigures relevant to this set, we have Darth Maul. This is my first Darth Maul minifigure ever. It, I don't, it looks like Darth Maul. Qui-Gon Jinn, also my first Qui-Gon Jinn ever actually. And they brought this minifigure back with the poncho. Super freaking cool. I am a big fan of poncho representation in Star Wars. And a young Anakin Skywalker. It, um, I don't know. He just looks like Anakin Skywalker also. Nothing really special here. Front and center, we see the Sith Infiltrator with three probe droids dropping from the underside of the ship and the Tatooine twin sons in the background. Looks like a very nice printed part on the top hatch. Turning the box over to the backside, this ship is now parked. Not only can you tell because it's literally sitting on the sand, but the wings are actually folded in now too. Darth Maul is seen on his little floating bike and the bike can be stowed via the back side of the ship according to this little diagram on the left side of the box. These bottom three photos show that there are projectile missile launchers underneath the front of the ship. And we see that there is a hatch on the underside of the ship that releases the three probe droids. Overall, I'm excited to build this ship. I think it looks really cool and is probably the best Sith Infiltrator ship we've seen to date so far. But I can't help but think it could have benefited from an extra minifigure or two. Looking back at the previous Sith Infiltrator sets we've seen, the one most comparable in size, comparable, comparable in size, is the one released in 2015, set 75096, and it came with five minifigures. So when you consider that this one technically only comes with three, remember Saw is a bonus minifigure for the LEGO Star Wars 25th anniversary. I wish we could have had a Padme. Even though Padme would have been a repeat mold, it would have just been nice to see her again and nice to have an extra minifigure here because there's just not enough Padme representation to begin with. So that's a missed opportunity here in my opinion, especially for the price. 
price. I'm so curious to hear your thoughts on all of these sets that we just talked about. If you've made it this far, please hit the thumbs up button on my video. It greatly helps my channel. And if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you here.